Hi, my name is Matthew Fowler, and I serve as a program manager for the Georgia Department of Transportation's Office of Innovative Delivery. The following virtual presentation provides a status update on the I-75 Commercial Vehicle Lanes Project for interested stakeholders and general public that may live along the corridor or frequently commute along I-75 south of Metro Atlanta and north of Macon. On behalf of the department, I would like to express our sincere desire to hopefully meet with many of you in the near future. But for now, we are thankful to have the technological advancements in place to meet virtually and to maintain social distancing best practices during this unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic. Now, let's get the presentation started. Today, the information that I will be presenting will be focused on three main areas. Georgia DOT's Major Mobility Investment Program, or MMIP for short, the Commercial Vehicle Lanes Project, or CVL for short, and the opportunities for stakeholders and the public to provide input for the Commercial Vehicle Lane Project. My hope is that by the conclusion of this presentation, you'll be familiar with the MMIP and the I-75 Commercial Vehicle Lane Project and understand the different channels available to you to obtain additional information, receive future project status updates, and to provide us with any input or feedback that you may have to help us improve the final product and service we are committed to providing to the traveling public. So what is the Major Mobility Investment Program? The MMIP projects were identified in 2016 to improve the region and state by creating additional capacity, improving freight movement, providing operational improvements and efficiencies, enhancing safety, offering more reliable trip times, and decreasing travel times. The MMIP represents significant long-term investment in the state's transportation infrastructure and delivers projects that will meet a community need with positive benefit to motorists. The MMIP consists of three major interchange reconstruction projects, four major express lane projects, three interstate widening projects, one commercial vehicle lane project, and six improvement projects on I-285 that have been advanced as part of the program. The project we are going to talk more about later in the presentation is the I-75 Commercial Vehicle Lane Project, which is focused on improving the safety and mobility for all users in the heavily traveled section of I-75 between South Metro Atlanta and north of Macon. This map shows where the MMIP projects are located. Many of the MMIP projects are located around Metro Atlanta, along I-285, up State Route 400, and I-85 north of Atlanta. We have two projects near Savannah to widen I-16 and to improve the interchange of I-16 and I-95 as the Port of Savannah continues to grow. The I-75 commercial vehicle lane project south of Atlanta on I-75 will construct commercial vehicle only lanes along I-75 in the northbound direction from the I-75-475 split north of Macon to the vicinity of State Route 155 near McDonough. This map shows the gravity these projects will have on many of Georgia's metro regions and across the state. The MMIP represents significant long-term investment in the state's transportation infrastructure. The projects constructed under MMIP will deliver positive societal benefits at a reasonable cost. A 25-year benefit-to-cost analysis proves the network yields a benefit of $1.10 for every dollar invested. The MMIP return on investment includes a 44% travel time reduction for transit vehicles, 13% reduction in traffic fatalities and serious injuries, 45 minutes in planning time savings, improving travel time predictability and dependability, 15% travel time reduction in the year 2040, a 13% reduction in motor vehicle fuel consumption, saving freight 
and passenger vehicle customers over $355 million in vehicle operating costs and a 13% reduction in vehicle emissions due to less congestion and faster travel times. Projects take many years to plan, design, and construct, and once a project is completed, the focus shifts to ongoing operation and maintenance of the facility. A transportation project like the I-75 Commercial Vehicle Lane project requires a lot of people to bring this project to life. Currently, the Commercial Vehicle Lane project is in the project development phase, and we will discuss a number of these current and upcoming activities in the next few minutes. The I-75 Commercial Vehicle Lane project seeks to address congestion, crashes, and high levels of freight along this corridor of regional economic significance with additional capacity, barrier separation of commercial and general vehicle traffic, and operational geometrical and technology improvements. The I-75 corridor is one of Georgia's officially designated freight corridors. In fact, the segment between Macon and Atlanta is the second most significant freight corridor in the entire state as it receives freight coming up I-75 and I-475 from Florida, our state's number one trading partner, as well as freight coming up from the Port of Savannah by the way of I-16. Further, the area around I-75 in Henry County has been identified as a major freight cluster by the Atlanta Regional Commission. In the past 30 years, this area has grown from 2 million square feet of distribution and warehousing space to over 25 million square feet, with much more in store, including the potential for a future Norfolk Southern Railroad intermodal facility. Preliminary traffic studies predict a substantial increase in traffic volumes on this section of I-75 with between 110,000 to 160,000 vehicles per day, of which 35,000 to 38,000 are trucks. This corridor experiences an above average crash rate and injury rate in the northbound direction. With all of this movement of freight combined with significant expansion of the Port of Savannah and continued population growth in Metro Atlanta in the entire state of Georgia, traffic volumes, congestion, crashes, and injuries are rising and will continue to increase unless addressed. The commercial vehicle lane projects includes the design and construction of commercial vehicle only lanes along I-75 in the northbound direction from I-475 north of Macon to the vicinity of State Route 155 near McDonough. The proposed improvements involve the addition of two non-tolled commercial vehicle lanes. The lanes will be barrier separated from the existing general purpose lanes and will typically be located along the outside or right side of the roadway as depicted in the rendering below, except through the city of Forsyth urban limits where the lanes are proposed to transition to the median. Major structure will be required to accommodate the new commercial vehicle lanes, including 27 new bridges, replacements, or widenings. Lastly, the project will accommodate future direct access ramps to a potential Bethlehem Road interchange in Henry County, as well as incorporate desired connected and autonomous vehicle technology as appropriate. The project is the first of its kind in the country and will improve the safety and mobility for all users by separating commercial vehicle and passenger vehicles. It'll also accommodate growth in commercial vehicle lane traffic and reduce maintenance costs on the general purpose lanes due to less usage by commercial traffic. The commercial vehicle lanes promote freight mobility from the Port of Savannah and continues to promote economic development along the I-75 corridor. It's anticipated to enhance system travel time reliability along the freight corridor of regional and economic significance with a projected 10 to 12 percent reduction of commercial vehicle travel time and a projected 10 percent reduction of travel times for those traveling in the general purpose lanes during peak periods.
The project will also facilitate the use of emerging connected and autonomous vehicle technologies. This transportation infrastructure is critical to the efficient movement of freight, people, and goods, and maintaining the economic vitality of the state. There are also additional project attributes, such as the replacement of multiple bridge overpass crossings and additional modifications to existing overhead signage, bridges, and retaining walls, modifications to drainage structures, erosion control, landscape, signing and pavement markings, along with lighting improvements and intelligent transportation system improvements, which will be required along the project limits. With the access plan, it's important to note that approximately 90% of the northbound truck traffic where I-475 and I-75 join together north of Macon, travels the full distance to McDonough without stopping. This project will consist of an approximately 40 mile long new roadway construction that begins just south of approaching the I-475-75 interchange and spans through five counties. The department has developed a preliminary access and signage plan for trucks to enter and exit the commercial vehicle lanes. The main objective of the plan is to maximize truck utilization of the commercial vehicle lanes, thereby minimizing truck utilization of the existing general purpose lanes without precluding any truck access to the existing service interchanges via the general purpose ramps. This graphic and the following slide graphic illustrates the access points at the southern and northern termini, along with five intermediate entrance and exit access points. Access to and from the commercial vehicle lanes will be permitted via a few access points provided via slip ramps with the adjoining general purpose lanes. This is very similar to how motorists can access the I-75 South Metro Express lanes in Henry County if you're familiar with those lanes. The project team continues to work through the concept development phase through the end of the third quarter of 2020, at which time public information open houses will be held with stakeholders and the public to show plan layouts and further inform design details. In the meantime, however, a line diagram schematic has been developed which depicts the proposed commercial vehicle improvements, including commercial vehicle lane laneage, number of lanes and location, access points, entrance and exit merge locations, and other required roadway and bridge work. The commercial vehicle lanes are depicted in orange lines. Commercial vehicle lane entrance merges are reflected with blue triangles Exit merges are reflected with red triangles. Ramps are shown in green lines and new I-75 auxiliary lanes are depicted in dark blue lines. We encourage you to review the preliminary concept shown here and submit any questions or comments you may have about the potential design. We will provide project contact information at the end of the presentation. Georgia DOT is responsible for reviewing projects and filing appropriate documentation to ensure that all projects comply with applicable federal and state historic preservation laws and regulations. Ensuring that a project's impact on these resources is minimal can make for a potentially lengthy process. The Department's Office of Environmental Services, including cultural resources, ecology, air quality and traffic noise analysis, and NEPA specialists continue to develop new methods to streamline the process. The environmental and design teams and other subject matter experts meet extensively during the concept development phase of a project to coordinate the best design options to avoid, minimize, or mitigate impacts to the identified resources. During this phase, 
The Georgia DOT and the project team will engage with stakeholders, keeping them updated on the status of the project and conduct public meetings to allow general public and stakeholders to provide official comment on the project. Over the past two years, the project team has completed a multitude of project development activities, including several tasks related to environmental, field survey, traffic, and concept development. The list here shows some of the completed activities and work that is currently underway by the project team. Any remaining ongoing activities will continue through the third quarter of 2020, at which time the team will begin to focus primarily on the environmental document, public involvement, and procurement related activities. For the project timeline, the current status is development of the concept and environmental analysis work. The department is working diligently to complete the concept report by the end of the third quarter of 2020. We are anticipating the first series of public meetings, the public information open houses, to occur later this year in the fourth quarter of 2020. Concurrent with and following the concept development phase for a period of approximately two years, the project team will be focused in on preparing environmental documents needed to obtain federal approval under the National Environmental Policy Act, NEPA, and the One Federal Decision Executive Order number 13807. The project is currently anticipated to be procured as a design, build, finance, maintain delivery method. The department will issue a final request for proposals shortly after the environmental approval is in hand with the goal of developer selection by the second quarter of 2023. According to the project schedule, construction is anticipated to begin in the third quarter of 2024 with substantial completion in the fourth quarter of 2028. Keep in mind the project schedule is subject to change. A robust public outreach campaign has been implemented for the MMIP and its projects with more than 300 stakeholder meetings over the past three years. Stakeholders that have been engaged include cities, counties, chambers of commerce, community improvement districts, major centers of employment, and neighborhood and community associations. Outreach has been conducted in all MMIP project areas, including Metro Atlanta, the Savannah region, and Central Georgia, the location of the commercial vehicle lanes. As stated, the commercial vehicle lane project covers five counties, Monroe, Butts, Henry, Spalding and Lamar. Our project team has been coordinating and engaging with several stakeholder organizations in the project area. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, our project team is practicing social distancing as recommended by health experts and have suspended in-person stakeholder meetings. However, if your organization would like to, to arrange a virtual meeting, we encourage you to reach out to the project team. At the end of the presentation, contact information will be provided. Input from stakeholders and the general public is critical for the advancement of transportation projects. You have received a lot of information in this project update, and I'm sure you have some questions or possibly even some concerns. The department takes your input very seriously and hopes you consider reaching out through any of our communication channels, including email, project hotline, and our website. Our team members are constantly monitoring and fully committed to being responsive to your questions or concerns as we prepare for our first series of public meetings slated later this year. Public participation is an integral part of the transportation process which helps to ensure that decisions are made in consideration of and to benefit public needs and preferences. Providing comment brings GDOT closer to the public's vision of ideal transportation in Georgia. 
Near the end of the year, we will host a public information open house where you can learn even more about the project. The public information open houses will be the first time you get to see the layouts for the I-75 commercial vehicle lane project, learn about the environmental process, and speak with project representatives and submit formal comments. In the coming months, be sure to check the project's webpage to find out when the Public Information Open House Meeting Series will be scheduled. If you have questions or comments to share about your thoughts on the project, potential design or potential impacts, please use the following email to reach the project team. This presentation will be posted on the project webpage and we encourage you to check often as we will continue to post new information. Thank you for joining me for this virtual project update for the proposed I-75 commercial vehicle lanes, part of the Major Mobility Investment Program. Stay well and stay safe.